Yo, what's good, YouTube? It's your boy Pro Jamaica Man, and I'm back with another video for y'all. And today I have a video on how to play basketry on PC. Even though it's not the best right now to play basketry on PC, I've been getting a lot of questions on this, so I'm here to answer it. And really and truly, your boy has been streaming so much, bro. I've been streaming like just so much. Like I've just been on the grind. I've I've just been streaming my ass off, and I I haven't even been. You know what I'm saying, making videos for y'all like that, and really and truly, first of all, videos is way better than streams because then I'm, you know, I'm paying more attention to the comments and I'm doing a detailed, you know what I'm saying, answer to the questions that's asked to me in the comment section. So it's a better way to answer than, you know what I'm saying, a, a quick couple seconds answer on the stream just to get on to the next comment. So, uh, I'm here with, for y'all, man. Uh, how to play basketry on PC? Let's get right into it. All right. So first of all, before I even start promoting, you know, what I'm saying emulators and stuff to use. First of all, before you can even use an emulator on your PC, you gotta make sure your PC is right because even though you might have some of the uh, some of the steps done to be able to play mobile games on PC, you're still gonna need a PC with, you know, what I'm saying at least four cores. You know what I'm saying? At least four cores. And then you got to have like, you know what I'm saying? Like four core processor. You know what I'm saying? With like fucking like eight eight processors. Six six to eight processors to be able to, you know what I'm saying? Run the game comfortably. Or run the game smoothly. Or else you'll get hiccups. You know what I'm saying? Your game will crash a lot. You won't have a good gaming experience. So that's first of all so at least for a four core processor so if you're using intel celeron bro like just throw it out the window or bring it back don't go to best buy and try to get like a 200 dollars pc and try to try to play basketry it's just not gonna work out for you you're not gonna have a great experience another thing that you're gonna need is you're going to need a dedicated processor which helps with the work workload of getting the game to run smoothly and just being able to process all the things from the emulator without the emulator crashing the next step is you need virtualization so uh let me go over the the graphics card that you need to at least be able to run uh, a emulator game. So I, you need at least a 10 series, you know what I'm saying, processor or a GTX 970 at least to be able to, you know what I'm saying, run uh, the emulator uh, comfortably on your PC. If you don't have at least a 970, bro, you're not going to have a good time. So... Uh, make sure you have a dedicated graphics card if you have integrated graphics your game is gonna you know what I'm saying be laggy it's gonna crash you're not gonna have a great time you know what I'm saying running the game the way you want it to run uh, the next step in the process is making sure that you have enough RAM now even though basket trio says you need you know what I'm saying at least four gigabytes of RAM I recommend you have you know what I'm saying at least double to triple to quadruple the amount of RAM it requires for the game to run or you know what I'm saying the game's requirement because it's not just the game running when you're trying to play the mobile game on PC you're running on an emulator your PC is processing running on an emulator and then it's taking up resources in order to make sure everything is running smooth so uh, make sure you guys take all of that into account when you're trying to play mobile games on PC let's get into the next step it, and it's very important towards playing mobile games on PC. Alright, this next step to mobile gaming on PC is called virtualization. Virtualization is basically a guest process. And the guest process is the emulator, right? So, uh, in order to run, you know what I'm saying, an uh, emulator on your Windows operating system, uh, Windows basically allows you to run your PC. And emulator is what allows you to play Android games on your PC. So... You know what I'm saying? Without virtualization, that will not be possible. So, it's virtualization is basically what allows you to run that guest process, which is the emulator, on your Windows operating system. So, it's like, uh, I don't know, some kind of like foreign, foreign object, you know, allowance type thing. 
which allows you to play mobile games on your PC so I hope you guys will understand that I will try to record basically how to enable virtualization or check for virtualization I'm gonna go ahead and try to like record something on my on my phone because I literally don't have a camera <laughs> now that I'm thinking about it so uh, yeah I hope you guys will understand but uh, yeah let me try to boot, boot up my PC and you know what I'm saying try to get an idea of how to enable virtualization. Okay, so I want my mobile device right now. The reason why I have like my my phone to my thingy right here like this is because my serial number and stuff like that is clearly visible, and I'm not trying to have any gremlins like attack my PC. But when you boot into your BIOS, right? When you boot into your PC's BIOS, you want to have on or go into advanced mode and go into advanced mode. So select advanced mode, and as you see here, it's called Hyper V in advanced mode. In your uh, hope you guys can see that properly, but it's called advanced mode in your system BIOS as you can see right here and you have to make sure that um, hyper virtualization or intel virtualization technology is enabled if you guys don't have this enabled you will not be able to run you know what i'm saying mobile games on your pc so uh, i i do have a gaming pc or a gaming laptop so all of this stuff was basically on before I even, you know what I'm saying, before I even attempted to play mobile games on PC. I had attempted to play Dunk Nation on PC a couple years back, but I didn't have enough RAM and I thought my PC was trash. But now that I have, you know, more RAM on my PC, I'm able to run, you know what I'm saying, uh, PC games and mobile games way more comfortable than before. It's just Basket Trio is, you know what I'm saying, giving me a harder time than expected. So uh, make sure VT is on as well. Virtualization. This has something to do with virtualization as well. So if you see something named VTD, all of this type of stuff, hyper threading and, you know what I'm saying, all of that stuff, make sure all of it is on. And what you want to do is basically save it and then exit out of your BIOS. I'm not going to do that because my uh, serial number for my PC and stuff like that is on the next page. But uh, make sure you have virtualization, Intel virtualization technology is enabled on your PC. And that's basically all you have to do. And then I'm going to get back into uh, the steps for you guys. Alright, so basically now that you all know how to enable virtualization, you're set up, you know the requirements for your PC. Uh, you know everything that you you need to know in order to enable all of this stuff on your PC you start looking you start looking for the best emulator to run you know what I'm saying basket trio now I'm gonna give y'all a disclaimer right now PC gaming on basket trio is not at its best point uh, I don't know what the game did. I don't know if it's the game's fault or, you know what I'm saying, if it's uh, Apple or Android or whatever system is causing uh, the problem to occur. But uh, PC gaming on uh, mobile or mobile games on PC is not at its best right now uh, because of some problem. I don't know what it is. I don't know what's causing it. But... Uh, uh, I got a lot of questions to upload uh, this video, so I'm basically doing that for y'all. So, uh, first one I recommend is LD Player. One, because it's one of the emulators that I started out with. I started out using Nox, actually. Let me go ahead and pull that one up as well. It's BigNox.com. I started out using Nox. And then I switched to LD player. I'm going to show you guys the order in which I did it and uh, what I ended up with. So I started out with Nox. Very good emulator. 
uh, it uses just about, you know what I'm saying, like 4% more of your CPU than LD player does. If you're running like a 1650, GTX 1650 graphics card like myself, if you have a gra better graphics card, then you probably want to wait until later on in the video. But uh, yeah, Nox player was the first player that I started using. Uh, it, it became a little bit laggy and it crashed a lot so I switched over to LD player now this is one of the lightest fastest emulators uh, I do recommend using this more than any of the other players that I'm going to recommend to you guys because it uses the least CPU on your system and it has more features that enables you know what I'm saying your PC to take more advantage of your graphics card than the other uh, emulators that I'm going to recommend to you guys so if you want to uh, basically use the best emulator the best emulator I could recommend if you're just starting out you know what I'm saying mobile gaming on PC is going to be LD player for you guys uh, the next player is called Mimu uh, if not if Nox doesn't work out for you if LD player doesn't work for work out too good for you then Mimu is the next option for you guys uh, it does use up a good bit of CPU I could say myself uh, it uses around like 60 to 70 percent for me and with streaming and whatever it it'll max out my CPU so I really can't use this player but if you have you know I'm saying a good graphics card like a 20 series 30 series graphics card uh, late or, or high-end graphics card and you are you're just pouring money into uh, just starting up you know being able to play mobile games on PC then this is the emulator for you It's really stylish as well uh, it has support for some of the latest games that are out there uh, but for basket trio this will more than do the job uh, if you guys are on like a high mid-end to a high-end uh, graphics card uh, with a good processor um, this is the probably the best emulator um, that I could recommend to you guys if you're on high-end but if you're a high high-end bro if you're a high-end and you're you're into smoothness and you know what I'm saying you don't want to lag and crash as much and uh, have as many problems with your emulators then bluestacks is the one for you they just came out with this bluestacks what is this bluestacks x uh, i think bluestacks cloud uh you could play mobile games on the cloud it's it doesn't support basket trio right now but in the future it will support uh basket trio hopefully it basket trio you know what i'm saying will take the initiative or hopefully they'll take the initiative to contact basket trio and we'll be able to have you know what i'm saying uh, a smoother gaming experience because wh when you have these mobile games on the cloud like this then you eliminate the need to have the emulator on your pc and you're playing the game directly uh through the cloud so uh hopefully they you know what i'm saying incorporate something like that in the future but for right now IMO the best players you could use is probably LD player or Bluestacks 5 Bluestacks 4 is also good if you're on you know what I'm saying like a low end you know mid end PC Bluestacks 4 is is okay as well you don't have to go all the way to Bluestacks 5 but um, just know your emulator won't be as smooth as with using Bluestacks 5 or you know what I'm saying Bluestacks or Cloud their new cloud feature so those are all the emulators that you could use for PC hope you guys you know what I'm saying understood but uh, yeah let's get back into the video and that's literally all the steps to uh, playing mobile games on PC uh, very simple very straightforward I'm gonna try to upload this to you guys you know what I'm saying as soon as possible because I know a lot of people have been asking for this. Uh, I've, the video is already over 12 minutes. I just checked. But uh, make sure y'all uh, subscribe to the channel. Over 60% of the people that watch my videos are not subscribed. Uh, like up the video. Uh, check out my other channel content as well. I have a lot of guides on there. I have a lot of questions that have already been answered by me. So make sure y'all check out the channel content, man. Uh, check me out over on Twitch. I do stream, you know what I'm saying, Basket Tree over on Twitch as well, as well as other games. But y'all could just, you know what I'm saying, go ahead and check me out. Uh, 
but uh yeah that's going to do it for the video channel memberships are available uh you could go ahead and join the channel for channel memberships for 2.99 6.99 and the third tier is uh, 24.99 i just I'm just going to update the third tier for the channel memberships right now uh, to put in the third emote. So uh, all the people that have been complaining that the third and the second emote are the same thing is going to change right now. But uh, yeah, join the Discord if you haven't already as well. I will be putting a link to LD Player in the comments. I uh, hope you guys enjoy this video, man. It's your boy Pro Jamaica, and I'm up out of here, man. Peace.